Hey everybody, welcome to your Wednesday. We have been working on your risk essay. So today we're gonna to continue to work on that risk essay. I'm not gonna take a lot of your time, but I do wanna to explain to you what you need to do today. So first things first, I'm going to ask you to take a second and get that risk essay opened. If you've forgotten where it's at, you simply go to your classwork, then find your risk essay and get that opened. All right, I'm going to give you a second to do that. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and find your essay. All right, you should have found your essay. Right now, I have opened a student essay. This one's on the High Ropes course. So I know a lot of you guys have done the High Ropes course. Um, some of you have done them at different camps. Some of you have gone to John Ball Zoo and done the High Ropes course. So let's take a look at this student's High Ropes course, and then um, I'm going to explain to you what you need to do with your essay today. All right, so let's take a look at this. It should have been one of the most exciting days at camp, but it wasn't. A cool, brisk of wind sent crumpled up leaves across the dirt path. The sun gleamed across the high ropes course at Camp Pendaluan as I watched the other students clank around in the air. I had dreamed about impressing everyone for weeks with my mad skills in the course. But as the counselors exclaimed how the course worked, I had noticed I had just met my worst fear. Twiddling my thumbs, I waited in line listening to the other students murmuring about how fun it was going to be. In my heart, I knew it would be sheer terror and anything but fun. Dragging and weak, my feet shuffled in the dusty dirt as I worried about every possible and impossible thing that could happen. How couldn't I be scared? There could be a freak wildfire and I'd be stuck up there to burn in my own grave. Or what if there was an alien invasion? and I'm the closest to them, so they take me away. My daydreaming was interrupted with a soft, kind voice. It's your turn now. Suddenly, my stomach dropped down to my neon tennis shoes as if reality had punched me in the gut. I don't think I wanna go. My voice staggered as my brain zoomed with fears. She clicked the last silver buckle of the harness, attaching me one buckle closer to my worst nightmare. It's fun, she said in a sympathetic tone. You don't have to worry about it. My mouth decided to communicate before my brain even had a say in what would happen. Okay, my mouth blurted out, dismissing every doubt I ever had. What? My brain began furiously at me. What? You are going to die. Looking right here, all of this right here is her before. It's all the things that she's thinking, she's feeling, she's wondering before she gets up there to do the high ropes course. So you have her inner thoughts. Uh, in my heart, I knew it would be sheer terror and anything but fun. Twiddling my thumbs. I. I just met my worst fear. All of those things, what she's doing, what she's thinking, what she's feeling, it, describing the day, the location, <laughs> these funny inside thoughts right here. There could be a freak wildfire. I'd be stuck up there to burn in my own grave or an alien invasion. So all of these inner thoughts add in tons of detail to her beginning. All right, let's get into her during. My foot settled on the red hooks, homemade looking red hooks, the unsafe homemade looking red hooks. What if I slip and fall to my doom? Abandoning my fear, I think about happy thoughts. You are going to be the coolest person ever after you do this. I stumbled up to the old wooden pole as I made the worst possible choice in the universe. Don't look down. The world became small as my sweaty palms clung to the cool metal rods. I would never be able to make it back to the ground in one piece. Cheerfully, the counselor gestured me to go up. Come on, you can do this. My legs ascend up to the course as if she had hypnotized them to work correctly and not just stand there. My eyes squeezed shut like they were hiding from this terrible dream. At the top, the hardest challenge awaited me. You have to use all your strength to pull yourself up onto this wooden plank. Was this some kind of sick joke? Terrified and anxious, 
I glance up at the board as if it were a torture device from another planet. My arms, wobbly globs of jello, hung to the wood, and I used all my strength to haul myself up. Another counselor, an ignorant helper, obviously had no idea what I was going through and made me stand up. Again, I looked down, failing to remember I wasn't supposed to do that. I froze stiff in the cool breeze as my heart pounded so lively that I was sure it would burst out of my chest. All of my courage was used up while climbing. I couldn't take all of this. Dropping to the plank, crisp, salty droplets shed down my cheeks. Can, can, can I go da down? I stuttered, grabbing everyone's attention. Are you sure? He asked reassuringly. Y y yeah. Okay, bring her down. My harness slowly pulled me back down to the ground. Sighing in relief, I felt like an angel floating down from the sky. As all my worries were lifted off my shoulders, I was reunited with the grass, dirt, and my friends. Morgan, Katie, Mel, and I stumbled through the dusty dirt path, leaving that tragic high ropes course and adventuring off to find new things to experience. Although my attempt to be amazeballs at the high ropes course totally backfired, I still had a great time afterwards laughing about how funny it was. You know, it's important to take risks. You may find out something you had never known about yourself before, like how I found out that I have a fear of heights. All right, we looked at this essay here to see the before, and then we got into the during. When she gets up there, she's up on this, and she just can't do it. Everything, moment by moment, what she was thinking, what she was feeling, what she was wishing, all of it is in here. It's lots of showing, and notice the sentence structures. Today, what I'm gonna ask you to do the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look at your before. And I want you to look at your before and I want you to focus in on action. Look at your before. Is there anywhere where you can add in some action? We call this add it. Can you add in some moment by moment action somewhere in the beginning? Can you add it in description? What does it sound like? What does it smell like? What does it look like? What does it feel like? in the beginning. Is there any little dialogue that you could add in there? Inner thoughts, can you add in, what are you thinking? What are you wishing? What are you praying? What are you hoping? And then 10 minutes, like tension, right, right here where it says in 10 minutes, I would know. So leave us on the edge of our seat in the before. I want you to try and add in some of these details to your before. When you're done with that, I want you to move in to writing your during. Just get into it. Get as much done as you can on your during. So we looked at an example. I showed you what add it means. Please make sure your befores are completed. Some of you are gonna have one paragraph. Some of you are gonna have two or three paragraphs for your before. All of those are fine. Generally, you have a couple paragraphs for your before and get into your during. Write as much of your during as you can. That's the moment you're taking your risk. If you look at this image right here, this is something called the leap of faith. I actually did this at Portage Lake. Um, some people have gone there before and um, you climb up that telephone pole and then you stand on the very top and you have to take that leap of faith where you jump off and trust that they're going to lower you down. It's so scary, um, and I did it. And so my during would be that moment when I'm climbing up and I'm standing up here and I have to jump off. That's my moment, and I want to describe that during, what I felt during the time I was doing that. So today, make sure you have your before and your during done. Tomorrow, we're going to add in and develop even more into our during. So make sure you work on that today. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Have a great Wednesday, everybody.